Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing my birthday book haul. So in the months leading up to my birthday, I generally, whenever I find like a book from the thrift store or the clearance section, I usually just save them for my birthday. And yeah, so most of these books that I'm going to talk about are from the thrift store or the clearance section, though it was my birthday because that's just still where I get my books because you can get more books for less money in those places. I decorated my bookshelf in June. I already put all the books I was going to get for my birthday on my bookshelf already because I did not feel like going back and rearranging everything in like just two months when I was going to get the books. I just wasn't allowed to read them until my birthday, but now I can. Now I can. And if you want to know exactly what I did on my birthday, I did vlog it because it was also during the Booktube-a-thon Biannual Bibliothon week, so I will link it somewhere on the screen. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. And a lot of these are really random books because <laughs> thrift stores, you never know what you're going to find. First one is Princess Academy Palace of Stone, which I did not realize was the second book in a series, but... I feel like I can probably find the first one somewhere. This is about an uh, academy full of princesses, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's like a fantasy book and it has like drama and stuff in it and it's about princesses. Pretty sure this is middle grade, but I thought it looked cute. There we go. Next is the Twist Rose Key. This is actually an arc, which is funny since it's illegal to sell arcs. <laughs> but it was at the thrift store, so. Oh, yes, this sounded really cool. When a mysterious parcel arrives at her family's new home, 11-year-old Lynn Rosenquist had, has a feeling she's meant to discover what's inside. Much to Lynn's surprise, the ornate key contained in this parcel unlocks a spellbinding world called Silver, hidden behind the cellar door. Silver is a magical land of eternal winter, inhabited by animals that shared a special connection with children, either as deer pets or tamed wild animals. In death, they are delivered to Silver, where they have taken on a curiously human-like form and still watch over the children they cherish. While Lynn is overjoyed to be reunited with her beloved pet Rufus, she soon learns that the magic of the petlings and the wilders is failing, and snow trolls want to claim Silver for themselves. Now Lynn must find a way to stop them and save this enchanted world. Full of charm, suspense, and heartfelt emotion, this instant classic will leave readers breathless. I thought this sounded pretty cute, but compared to like Narnia and the Golden Compass, and I really liked both of those, so I thought this sounded fun. Next we're going to get into the women's fiction section of the pile because my thrift stores have a lot of women's fiction. Um, I don't really read the serious kind, but they like chick lit -y, fun sounding books. I am all for. So I found this book by the Confessions of a Shopaholic author, Sophie Kinsella. I absolutely loved finding Audrey by her. And they have quite a few of her books at the thrift store, or at least they did. I might have bought most of them. This one's called Remember Me. It's about a girl who had amnesia. Or no, someone had amnesia. <laughs> she had amnesia and is about to find out how much her life has changed in three years. And I think it's supposed to be cute and fun, so. I thought I would give this a shot. It's such a bright, uh, fun cover, too. And then I have Shopaholic and Baby. This is one of the Shopaholic series. I have the first two. I have not read those yet, but I need to. Oh, wow, this is really late. So this is the fifth one in this series. But my thrift store does seem to keep getting, like, different copies of her books. So uh, maybe I can find, like, the third and fourth one at some point. But I thought, you know, why not? get it while it's there. The next one were Shoe Addicts Anonymous and Secrets of a Shoe Addict, which I thought sounded really funny about this group of women who are all obsessed with like buying shoes. And so they joined this like club of people obsessed with buying shoes. And they're all the same shoe size so they can like trade shoes and that way they can still get new shoes without having to spend too much money on them. It also sound and it's also like about their like family dramas and stuff like that. So I thought it sounded really cute. And then I saw that they had the sequel there too. Again, thrift store, so these were like 
a dollar each. Then I found three books in this Something Blue series by Emily Griffin. I've heard of this um, series before. It's another one of those like women's fiction. I think it's it's either drama or like a light-hearted drama or something but I thought they sounded interesting and they were the first three in the series so I got something borrowed, something blue, and love the one you're with. I like how bright and colorful contemporaries are because <laughs> Fantasies are so dark. Her best friend ends up like in bed with her fiance. No wait, she ends up with her best friend's fiance. She ends up really liking him. Stuff happens and it's like a drama and I think it's also might be supposed to be funny. I'm not sure. But anyway, I thought it sounded interesting. I think I've heard of this. I think it also turned into a movie if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I read an article about the author in Writer's Digest and she sounded like entertaining. She had kind of interesting article so I was like I could read these books and see if I like them. Now we're getting to the YA section. I found Spirits and Thieves. A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. This is actually a companion to the yes to the Fallen Kingdom series. I looked it up you don't have to have read the Fallen Kingdoms to read this so I can go ahead and read this and be all set. I think this takes place a couple hundred years before that series if what I read was correct and it's about like magic and stuff in a myth magical world so I was like why not go ahead and get it. First you have to understand they have like stacks and stacks of this book like every time I go to the bookstore in the clearance section and it's only four dollars so I got <laughs> Gathering Darkness. <laughs> I'm laughing so much because this is book three in a series, in the Fallen Kingdom series, that I, I haven't started it. So I don't even know if I like the first one. But I have the third one because I couldn't resist. Like, it's just, it's in my face and it haunted me. So I'm pretty sure I'll like it though. I think a lot of people love that series. It's magical and like magic powers and romance and stuff. So it sounds like something I will love. So when I get to book three, I have it. Oh, this is cool. I didn't realize I had like weird stuff in it. I got Night Film by. Marish, Marisha Kessel? It's kind of confusing. Click where's the author? I found this at the dollar store of all places. The dollar store for like this hardback. So that's crazy. It's like a murder mystery or a thriller. But I've heard like amazing things about it. So when I saw it at the dollar store for a dollar, I was like, I need to get this. So I added it to my birthday pile. So I'm excited to read it. I forgot that it has like, it's kind of like a Lumine with the weird crap in it. So I've heard that it's amazing. So hopefully I like it. Speaking of books with weird crap in it, I found a Lumine for $6, the hardcover, which has this cool cover. And it's got all the things in it. I have not read this book yet. I've heard nothing but like wonderful, wonderful things about it. I was kind of on the fence about reading it when I was trying to decide if I wanted to get it out of my library. I was like, I don't know. But then I saw it for cheap and I was like, okay, I guess I should get it. The gods of the clearance section want me to have this book. So I have it now and I hope I love it. So I'm really excited to read this. Oh, it's about like the end of the world and people, are they trying to stop it or just trying to escape from it? Something with a warship. And yeah, it's all told from like letters and documents and stuff. So I'm really, really excited to read it. Then, last books. I'm so excited about these. I found them on different days too, which just makes me so happy. So happy. I found Crown of Midnight and Empire of Storms. For $5.97 each. Brand new. Perfect. Pretty much. Yeah. The pretty much perfect condition hardcovers. I was so excited. So now I have. I have Queen of Shadows. So now I have three out of the five books. I just need Throne of Glass and Air of Fire. I will have the whole series. Try to collect the whole series slowly. Those are all the books I got for my birthday. It was quite a pile. I have quite a bit of reading to do. I'm so excited to read all of these books. So I really need to stop getting books out of the library and focus on my awesome, awesome stack of books I have to read. That is it. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. If they are some of your favorites. If you, like, didn't know about any and they sound interesting to you, let me know as well. And then I'll be sure to, like, 
talk about them in the future once I finish them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I make new videos every Monday, plus the occasional surprise videos, so please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye!